I really want to welcome you to what is an extraordinary event, whether you know it yet or not. It is as much of a behind the ropes access that you could get in speaking with one of the preeminent designers of the world, Ian Callum. Someone 50 years from now, when, will they see the E-type next to the F-type? I kind of hope so. You know, I'm not going to make any prejudgment in this. I'm, you know, is that a future classic? I think they'll see this as a much more assertive and aggressive car. It's a very pretty car. It doesn't have a sort of natural toughness to it that perhaps the F-type does. I'm still learning, and there's a lot of uh, learning in this car. The biggest learning for me is how do you make the simplest thing work? And keeping things simple is hugely complicated. How difficult, knowing, knowing that that is the most beautiful car in the world, how difficult was it to create the offspring? When we created this car, we didn't know it was going to be called F-Type. So that in itself is a blessing because I think if that was hanging over my head, that would have been quite a challenge. But it was part of the, the lineage and the family really stemming from this one first. You know, I understand this car intrinsically, intimately well. I know every millimeter of it from an aesthetic and proportional and, and package point of view. But you have to put it behind you. What you have to understand at Jaguar is the values by which this car was created, or indeed the Mark II or the XJ6, my favorites, and, and, and work out those values and work out how they came about. And as a designer, I have to take on board a, a huge number of, of things, uh, inputs, attributes, laws, legislation. It's just infinite. And you work from the ground up and you have to hold a mind of simplicity and beauty and clarity, I use the word clarity a lot, and this gets back to the simplicity of understanding what you're looking at. And just wrapping the sheet metal of the car around the mechanics of it as tightly as you can, and that's how I kind of think and work. But there was one thing in this car that I really wanted on, on it, and even my own team struggled with this notion, and that was a profile that was very pure towards the back and dropping it down as low as it goes, which is very unfashionable, by the way. And why they did that? Because I love this car, and that's why we did it. And uh, my younger team looked at this and said, no, the car's got to have an attitude, you know, it's got to be up there, and, you know. And I said, no, it's going to be relaxed. It's got to, you know, got to fall off at the back. I'm glad I stuck my heels in at that point and said, I'm sorry, guys, you young Turks, you're not going to listen to me this time. You're not going to listen to me this time. I'm going to get my own way. So my, my strength, if I have one, is being able to walk around a clay and just slowly but surely tune the clay model to something that's exciting and something that uh, as you look at it, you know, it clicks.